In today's video, I'm going to share a pizza eating game that makes fraction learning fun. Monsters don't eat whole pizzas and having to feed a partial fraction means players have to calculate which slices or slice can make that sum of that fraction. I'm Leanne and I want to inspire families to learn through games. So if this is something that you are interested in, make sure to subscribe. In Blobby's Pizza, players are trying to prepare and sell pizzas to their patrons as fast as they can to earn the most money. So let's set up the game and I will show you what comes in the box. Here are the 88 pizza fraction slice cards, the 28 pizza eating monster cards, three switch and swap monster cards, score pads that serve as the guest check and the invoice order sheet, as well as eight tax and tip cards. Shuffle all cards well and deal each player five cards. In a two-player game, Chef Blobby isn't used. Instead, the first person to ring up $60 as a total bill wins the game. First off, let's explain the playing spaces. So this deck is known as the kitchen. This is your plate and it refers to what is in your hand. You can only have five cards or pizza slices on your plate at the beginning and at the end of your turn. Sometimes though, you might be hiding a few monster cards in there too. Your table refers to the table space in front of you where players may store extra pizza fraction cards in order to meet the requirements of only holding five cards in their hand at the end of their turn. But there is no limit to how many pizza cards are stored on the table. However, any slices on the table can be stolen by other players. They play a monster card on their turn and they can take slices from anyone's table to make up their total fraction of pizza to try to fill up their monster. At the beginning of a turn, players draw one card from the kitchen deck. Then, they check to see if they have cards which make up exactly 12 slices of the same flavoured pizza. They may use slices from their plate, their table, or use monster cards to take slices from another player's table. Real quick, Miss Game School updates that I wanted to share with everyone. I want to let you guys know about some free resources that we have made available on our website. You can download a list of all the gateway games that we have used in our game school for language arts, arithmetic, and thinking skills. There are more game lists covering different topics that will continually be added. So if you would love to get one of those lists, head to our resource page on www.missgameschool.com, enter your email and it will get sent to your inbox. Now let's get back to the video. Let me show you how a pizza can be completed. Any combination of fraction slices may be used to make up a whole pizza. A player could look at their hand and realize that they have a one quarter slice of pizza. They look at their table and they have a seven out of 12 slice of pizza. Now they're short of two more slices to make a whole. They see that one of their opponents has a one sixth slice of pizza and they will use their pepperoni. Is this pepperoni? They will use pepperoni who eats one sixth of a slice of pizza to take away their opponent's one sixth slice of pizza that they have made available on their table. So with these three cards, they now have enough pizza slices to make a whole cheese pizza. Once the pizza is completed, then the player places them to their side to indicate that they are whole and completed and they can be tallied up at the end of the game. Let's break down what a card looks like 
and how players can learn while these cards are in their hand. This is a pizza card. This is the visual fraction against the whole, the numerical fraction being depicted, the fraction reduced if it's possible, the equivalent in decimals, and the number of slices that this card makes out of the fraction. In game, the learning happens while players are collecting pizza cards with different fraction denominations to make a whole. Whole numbers are more intuitive to compute and players may use those numbers to add up to one whole or 12 slices instead of reading the fractions and the denominations. Now let's look at a monster card. This tells you what fraction of pizza this monster requires to be full. It shows a visual depiction of the fraction as part of a circle, as well as the equivalent in decimals. So monsters don't eat whole pizzas, and having to feed a partial fraction means players have to calculate which slices or slice can make that sum of that fraction. The math comes in when players collect different slices of pizza fractions to feed the monster who requires a different fraction denomination. This game relies on a pie diagram of a pizza made up of 12 slices. In real life, that is not the only way we encounter fractions. So the game has its limitations. Granted though, it covers foundational fractions which are very important. I do like that the game mechanics has that very classic hand management feel where you only get to keep 5 cards in hand on your plate at the end of a turn. So which one do you put down on your table? Do you risk your opponents grabbing them or uh, do you want to save some space in your plate, in your hand for those fraction eating monsters which can't be placed on the table? How do you draw that balance between those two? That's a really fun mechanic, a really interesting tension. I also like how players need to keep an eye on their opponent's table to find cards that complete their set. That adds a good level of social engagement around the table. It is a challenge to find games that utilize fractions as a mechanic and hard to find those that do which then play well which makes this game a really fun way to play as a family together. My kids ask to play this game repeatedly and each time they do, they really feel good about fractions. It won't teach everything that they need to know about fractions, but they are getting a very strong head start. If you are looking to introduce the topic of fractions or your learners are new to fractions, this will be a great game to start them off. If you want to learn other games that will help your kids enjoy multiplication, fractions, and division, make sure to subscribe, check out the videos uh, on Happy City, on Ohanami, or Combo Clash. Uh, those are in the links below, or check it out at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Next.